Wait, so was he trying to casually date and you were all Oh, in? yeah, girl. Anyways, long story short, wasn't that cute of a relationship at first. I hated oh. him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off, which oh, worked. Oh, yes. He was like, that'll do it. He was the bad boy, too. Like, Matthew is so sweet and southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the, the backup was... The complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it, it upset him. So they lived in the same dorm, because athletes lived in the same dorm, and he would see my car there. And so at one point, he, like, waited and fought and followed me out and got in my car and wouldn't get out. Uh, and he was like, like... this is so hot. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I was, get out of my car, and he was like, I don't... He's not right for you. And I was like, who do you... What? You can't tell me that. If she got you purposely competing with other dudes, she's not the one for you. If she putting you in unnecessary drama, she's not the one for you. Point blank, period. Ladies, I'm pretty sure you got friends that do this. Right now, it's a few brothers sitting in prison because of situations like this. Now, of course, I can't put all the blame on the young lady, whoever young lady it was, because you're supposed to be able to control your emotions. But if you're dealing with somebody that's putting you in situations, because pride is a mother now, don't sleep. Pride is something else. So if you're dealing with a young lady that's pitting your pride and another man's pride against each other, get away. Get as far away as you can. And then to be honest with you, what kind of simperoni pizza shit is that? The other man is taking her to Stroke City and you over here talking about he's not right for you? Come on, player. <sighs> I hate modern art. I'm going to be honest with you. I hate modern art. I've seen some of the most ridiculous things on the internet. And my thing is, how much did he get paid to put on that show? To cut a hole in the bucket and watch the rest topple over. How much did he get paid for that? When you got out here in the hood that can actually draw. I seen this one thing at an art show. The bitch was cutting cheese. Like she was... And the people was clapping. They were clapping. Just like that nonsense. They clapped for the bucket falling over. Buckets fall over every day, B. Dang, a girl can do in bed. Oh, discharge. <laughs> nah, wait, wait, what? That's not the word. What? That the Actually, word. that's so natural. That's natural. Yeah. Discharge comes out. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. what? That's my favorite. Wait, what? That's my favorite. Wait, what? what? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I had a girl discharge on me. I was like, hey, what is this? Like, what? What's, okay, what did it look like? What's discharge to you? What was... No, it's okay. It's natural. What, what, what did it look like? Was it white discharge? Because that's totally normal. Yeah, it was a bunch of white stuff. That's totally normal. You don't like that? Why would you get on camera and embarrass yourself like that? This man says the most embarrassing thing a woman can do in bed is discharge. Brother, that's the best part. No, it was like my first time seeing that, so I was like... And that's the worst thing a girl can do in bed? Uh, yeah, because they like ruins the whole thing because then she gets shot. <laughs> now is either this man who's a virgin and he lying talking about that was the first time he seen that or his previous encounters had that sandpaper be nice to your girlfriend because she just wants to see you and you're being mean i don't like you when you're mean i don't want you to be mean i just want a hug <laughs> Listen, when y'all start dealing with these young ladies or these young men, if there is signs of crazy, take that as a warning to make your exit. What she did right there the first couple of times, her boyfriend probably thought it was cute. Oh, she all emotional over me. Oh, come on, baby. It's going to be all right. Okay. It's going to be cute until you don't wake up in the morning. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Just when we thought schools could not get any more unsafe for our children, Andy Rosefort comes along. Andy Rosefort is a 31-year-old lunch lady in Connecticut. 
Andy was just recently arrested for grooming a 14-year-old student over social media and R-wording him in her SUV. You know, that SUV? Yeah. School administrators reported Andy to the police when they suspected there was an inappropriate relationship going on between her and a student. In mid-January, the victim was at a party with his friends, and he told his friends, I'll be right back. But when he returned, they say his demeanor was completely off. Andy Rosefort picked up this 14-year-old boy from his friend's party, drove him a short distance, and proceeded to R-word him in the back of her SUV. Now, how does this even happen? How do we even get here? Let's go back a little bit and talk about how Andy went and sought out this little boy on social media and groomed him for months. Andy Rosefort went and found this little boy's social media, followed him on Instagram, and then went to him in person and told him to follow her on Snapchat. The victim reported to police that Andy messaged him randomly and said, do you want to see something? Andy Rosefort then proceeded to send this little boy an unsolicited nude photograph of herself. The victim messaged Andy back and asked if she meant to send that to him. She responded by sending a second nude photograph of herself. I gotta train myself to think better and the rest of y'all fellas who thinking like me gotta train yourself to think better too because I know for sure it's a lot of y'all just like where was these type of females when I was 14? She looked good but she a predator. She a predator. It's funny! It's funny! I hate you! Ooh, that's funny. Wait, that's funny. Wait, that's funny. Bro, she said, you rushing me to the airport to the point to where I got sick. What? I am pretty sure it was multiple red flags leading up to this moment. She got comfortable doing it in the house and now she doing it in public. Personally, brother, if I was you, I would have got up and went home. The trip done. Why is this generation of men so sassy? Why are y'all walking around talking about drizzle drizzle? Everything a female does, y'all try to counter it. Why are y'all such in competition with women? Honestly, all y'all doing is weeding yourself out. Because why, as a man, would you walk around talking about drizzle, drizzle? It's giving you drizzling coins because you broke. Why is this... I hate that statement. It's giving. It's giving. Who started that? Where y'all got that from? Send it back where y'all got it from. I haven't seen everything the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady has spoken about, but the things that have came to my attention, I think is ridiculous. So it's a bunch of dudes that decide, all right, y'all sprinkle sprinkle, we drizzle drizzle. And they're basically saying the same exact shit that y'all are saying. They're doing the same exact shit that y'all are doing to show you how ridiculous it is. And we have videos like this. I am a gay Christian and I have the spirit of God inside of me. The time that I felt most filled with the Holy Spirit was when I kissed a woman. That is when I was filled with peace and joy. That is a personal experience to the beautiful fruit of the spirit of God being in my relationship with my wife and in our children. Can you link that fruit back to the Bible? There's no scripture that you can point to that can disprove that because it's about my personal relationship with my soul and heart. I have two scriptures. I just told you, you cannot use scripture, sir. But if you're going to hold the Bible above my personal relationship with Jesus Christ, then you have held the Bible as an idol. What Bible do you read? I'm just curious. Uh, the Holy Bible? I actually feel like yes. a better question okay, is what, what Bible do you read? I'm not the most religious person, and to be honest with you, I don't really have an opinion on this. It's supposed to be about your own personal relationship with God, but people have said that. I plead the fifth on this one. Oh, that looks good. Miguel! What the fuck? Miguel, I carrot, I carrot hot dog. 
for you. What am I a rabbit, John? Are you serious? No, but taste it though. I'm just gonna taste. Taste it. You know what? I'm looking. That's foul. My wife be on her vegan shit sometimes, but ain't no carrots. She'll have the um the hot dogs that are made out of beans, like the veggie hot dogs. This is foul. To put a carrot in, in between them bread like that, that's up, dog. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. Not gonna get mad. Oh, he mad. But that's rude. That's good. You don't like carrots? No. Your finger. You don't like carrots? Oh, God. I want to, like, explore right now, but you know what? I know what you guys want. I know what you guys want, and I know what you're looking for, but you're not going to get it. I'm going to relax, and I'm going to calm down, and I'm going to have a Tito's and cranberry, and I'm going to calm down. What? Miguel, shame on you, brother. Why are you guys here, anyway? Are you what? crying? He crying. Do that. Do you know that? People eat carrots like a freaking hot dog on a bun. Yes. No. Really? Yes. No. Really? Yes. Uh, no. Stop pissing me off. You're not. You're not. The... Oh, he crying. He mad for real. Mm. Just try one more bite. <laughs> Wait for me. We had a little barbecue the other day for Fourth of July, and I did. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to invite my neighbors, but we were grilling veggie franks. I didn't want to do that. You can't force things on people. Me personally, I'm not a vegetarian, but I know I'm used to it. My wife be eating them type of franks. I'm used to that. I don't want to put that on nobody else. If I come to your house and you feed me a carrot and a bun, 